I just wanted to warn you that I've added a commentary to this movie. And if you don't like hearing someone who isn't speaking native English, which is fully understandable, then mute and listen to your own music, and I hope you will enjoy this one. So we're up against the Shadow Priest and a rogue. And what they normally do is that they nuke the living hell out of the guy that jumps them first. So I'm gonna try to make some confusion here, since I'm pretty fast in cat form. This will either force them to follow me or change target to my rogue, and I will most likely receive a shadow of pain if I'm not too fast around the corner, and that will make me immune to blind long enough to kill the priest. I'm so tired of trying to fight this I'm asleep and all I dream of is waking to you Tell me that you will listen Your touch is what I'm missing And the more I hide I realize I'm slowly losing you Call the times I'll never wake up without Next up is Resto Shaman Warrior. Well, this is probably the hardest setup you can face, since they got so many interrupts and they have grounding totems, which makes it very hard to CC. Start off with rooting the warrior, that will put him in combat, and you will buy some time, and he can't charge you unless he's really lucky. What's important when you want to heal or CC is that the rogue pulls off a stun, and then you take distance from the warrior and throw a regrow for example and if you got time left you could try for a CC The following two clips is to illustrate how stupid the arena can be. I'm speaking of resists, procs, dodge, parry, you name it. This fight is against the Solink Warlock and a rogue, 
and I'm having some major luck in this game, unfortunately. This is against the previous team, but it displays a bit more how it usually goes against this kind of setup. My rogue gets sapped here, and I'm a bit shocked that they didn't decide to go for him since they can pretty much shut him down quite efficiently. And then they got space to CC me, fearing to blind into deathclaw for example. But cloak vanish evasion can at times be a bitch, but I would say generally it's the better choice. Their previous fight was quite effective, since they caught me and cast it from the entire time. So, quite natural that they're going for the same winning tactic. But, generally, the rogue is getting nuked against this kind of setup. This is actually very simple. You just have to keep in mind that after he has used his charge, then you can pop your pet. So, slow him, pop your pet, abuse follow. I have to add that Party Beast actually wins this game. Nice fake casting there on my counter spell, and nice survivability overall. This scene shows how important slow is, because I didn't do Cone of Coal in the Shadow combo, neither after the Blink. So that ended up with him bashing me, which isn't good in any way, just total waste. So keep in mind that slow is important. Now I'm going to show you a full fight against Party B. Keep in mind what the pet bug does, and uh, I also have to add that Party B won most of the games.
Don't you just love that cat range bug? I think it's been there since the beginning of the game. And yes, it still exists. And don't forget to prevent that warrior from charging with fairy fire. I believe going for the paladin is the best choice you can do. If you go for the warrior, then you rely on that the team is horrible. A good warrior will go shield and he will intervene his paladin. And the paladin, he will use his ble blessing and protection the second your rogue pops a burner in rush and evasion. So, yeah, burst, denied, and he still got his bubble left for the second CD wave, which will get nerfed next patch. I'm sorry for the length of the movie, but after obtaining 2k rating in 2v2 we stopped, so uh, we couldn't get more footage. And I kinda got a confession to make, I've quit and deleted my jury to spend some more time in real life, but I will be playing, I will be playing my mage a bit more casually, and I'm actually considering doing a mage movie later on, but that's for now, and I hope you've enjoyed the movie. See you around.